Hi, this is Pranesh Sharma and this is our third video and this is the continuation of the second where I'll be talking about more symbols as well as are different kinds of operators which we use in our equation editor if you have not checked out my first and the second video please check it out in which i have talked about how to write the equation as well as a lot of shortcuts of writing different kinds of equations now here we'll talk about our exist symbol first where we'll say backslash exists and we get this there exists symbol similarly we also use something called for all symbol where it is basically inverted a we'll say backslash for all and you get your inverted a that just says for all values of whatever okay we have congruent symbol for congruent symbol all we use is backslash c o n g and we get our congruent symbol you might need upward arrow downward arrow so for that all we do is backslash up arrow and similarly you will have backslash down arrow now you can also write right arrow left arrow but i have a better way we put that minus sign and then put less than or greater than you get arrow so for left arrow we'll say slash and then left arrow and i get my left arrow you can write it right arrow as well now we have harpoon symbols as well now harpoon symbols that would be basically only above arrow or below arrow so for that we'll say slash backslash again right harpoon right harpoon and if you want the above up ha right harpoon you would say up and if i press space you can see this up right right harpoon and if you want right harpoon down you will write right harpoon and okay right harpoon and then down here we get right harpoon down similarly you will have left harpoon up left harpoon down if you want both that we use a lot when we are talking about uh, chemical uh, equations and stuff so for that we have l h uh, sorry l r h a r so that would be left right harpoon so for that we have our uh, backslash l r h a r Okay, and if I press space, you will find this left, right harpoon. Now, for some more um, symbols, let's say perpendicular. If you are talking about geometry, I'll have P E R P. If you want an angle, again backslash A N G L E, angle, and we get an angle. So we use backslash, we use space a lot. Okay, so where in between we will have whatever kind of value we want to write next we'll talk about different accents like x bar x du a du a hat x hat something like that okay so the first one would be very simple our x bar so for which we write x and then we have our backslash again and then b a r bar and if you press space now see this bar is not exactly centered on x but if i press space again now we have our x bar so we have two types of uh, bars here one would be slightly off and the second would be just above everything works in the same manner if you want a line underneath it you would write let's say a and then backslash and you will say u bar u bar and if i press space again you can see it is not exactly aligned but if i press space again it is going to be perfectly aligned so many times we use double space to get whatever we wanted for x hat we will have x slash hat and again the same thing if i press space again i get hat similarly if i want to write theta hat okay we use theta hat a lot i'll say alter equal to i'll write backslash first theta theta 
and as soon as I press another backslash, it converts it into theta. And I'll say hat space and another space. Here we have theta hat. Okay. If you are trying to write a vector, so for that we will write x. Let's say I want to write a plus b vector. Okay. So I'll say uh, in bracket a, then plus b bracket close. And then we have VEC slash VEC. If I press space and another space, you can see the vector goes over the whole A plus B. Similarly, you can use all the accents such that it writes everything above it. Okay. Now, similarly, if I want to write my um, a dot above it, I'll say X and then backslash DOT space. And again, it's not a perfectly aligned. If I press space again, it would be perfectly aligned. Similarly, if I want to write a due, so I'll say for due, that means two dots above. So I will have a and I will say backslash and for double, I will say d d dot. Okay, or d dot actually. So I have two d's here and if I press space, you will see that we have two dots and space again. So if you want, let's say four dots, you will write four times D. So if I say I have something like, um, remove these, I'll say beta and uh, okay, I'll just put backslash beta and another backslash. And if I have D, 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 O, T. And if I press space, you can see I have four dots. And if I press space again, those four dots goes above beta. Okay. Let's talk about negations now. What if I want to write not equal to? So for not equal to, we would use our division symbol and then equal to. As soon as I do that, you can see it creates into not equal to. Similarly, if I want not less than, so for that, Again, division symbol and then less than, we get not less than, not greater than, we'll have again not and then greater than symbol, we get not greater than. But if I want to write not equal to, uh, not less than equal to, so for that, I cannot just write not less than and then equal to, it does not work that way. So for that, we have LE, that is less equal to, so we'll say first not that would be given by division and then we'll have backslash and then we'll write le le means less equal to and if i press space here i get not less than equal to similarly if i want not greater than equal to it should be ge so for that i'll have not great then backslash ge and if i press space i get not greater than equal to if I want not belongs to, so I will have not and then slash i n and this becomes our not belongs to. If I want not congruent, so for that I will press not for that this and then for similar the similarity sign and then equal to sign. I get not congruent. If I want not subset, I will write my not backslash and then subset similarly if you want not subset equal to you will have subset eq if you want not superscript uh, superset you will write superset if you want not superset equal to you will have um, you know superset eq okay so that is how we write different negations the last but not least, we'll be learning how to write sums, product and integrals. Now, these are very important. For sum, it's very simple. We say backslash and we write sum. If I press space, I get sum. So, if I want to write sum x, this is how I write it. But if I want to show the limits, sum going, i going from 1 to n. So, for that, what we'll do is we'll say backslash sum and then underscore I'll put bracket, I'll say i is equals to 1 and I close my bracket and then raise to and I'll press capital N 
if I after this if I press space you will see I get a bigger symbol of I going from 1 to capital N okay now if I want bigger symbol but I do not want to write any limits okay so like I first I will just say my x underscore i okay this is this is how we would write our sum but if i want bigger sum but if i do not want uh, any limits for that i'll just write backslash sum and if i press space i get a small su summation but if i press space again i get my bigger summation without any uh, you know limits if i just want lower limit if i want to write for all values of x so for that I'll say backslash sum I'll say underscore capital X if I press space I get only the lower limit no upper limit so these are the different ways we can use our summation now very similarly we can use product as well okay so whenever we want to write product that would be our capital pi I'll say backslash and P R O D for that product I have P R O D and I'll say underscore product of in bracket I'll say let's say i is equals to 1 to if I am going let's say till infinity so I'll say raise to if I want infinity I'll say backslash i n f t y and when I press space and another space I get my i going from 1 to infinity and this is nothing but pi pi means product of all values of all let's say f of x underscore i so this becomes my product okay. similarly you can use your uh, union and so for union you will have backslash big cup and if you want you can write underscore uh, actually underscore let's say again i going from 1 to if i am going till it's a capital n this is how we get our big cup similarly you will have your big cap okay then i will talk about integration so for that we have backslash i n t if i press space i get an integration sign if i press space again i get a bigger integration sign where i can write my f of x dx right if i want limits it's a backslash i n t and then i'll press underscore I'll say from let's say minus infinity to plus infinity so for that I'll say bracket minus um, backslash infty bracket close then raise to backslash infty and here we get from minus infinity to plus infinity and whatever our f of x dx this is how we will write our infinity uh, integration symbol now if you want two integration symbol you can definitely write integration and then write integration again that would be your uh, integration and then again int can definitely write it this way but a better way would be we'll be using multiple i's so we'll have backslash i i n t if i press space we have two integration if i press space again they become bigger okay clearly if you want uh, limits here you will have to write them separately but if you do not want limits you just have to show double integration this is how we will be showing it then we have our circular integration as well that is used in geometry okay, so for that we'll have backslash o i n t 
and if I press space, I get this. Again, if I press space, I get a bigger one. Now, if I want double, again, how many ever integration you want, you will put that many i's in it. So I'll have backslash, okay, plus backslash i n o i i n t and then space, I get double. If I press space, I get, you can write four integration, five integration as well. You just have to write that many i's. I'll just show you. I will have backslash i i i i i i n t and if I press I think it works till 4 definitely works till 4 yes I guess after that you cannot write it okay you can work up till 4 i's 4 integrations so this ends our basic of almost all kinds of symbols that we'll be using just using our keyboard we did not even once go up to this section of our equation tool now this would also help you write these equations in your word in your mobile um, or your tab in android where you can insert equation but you do not get any of these menus from which you would write any of the equations so i'll end this video here and in the next one i'll be using some mathematical and statistical formulas to write equations in our actual uh, way we would write see you in the next one